Hi everyone. So uh, it's day 21. We're at almost 11 hours of running, and right now I've decided that to switch from run laps to a video because I'm gonna climb the final 100 meters of Montmaison, which is the height, the high point of this part of Ardèche. Now the reason you see me putting this on is because it's really really cold uh, wet and I'm tired because I've been running for so long so I've, I'm becoming quite slow I'm, I'm producing less heat and less energy so I'd better protect myself and we're gonna end up on a point where there's a lot of wind it's open on every side and there is no protection so that's it I'm set up and right now we're ready to go at kilometer 67 and I've managed to keep a good pace and the idea was to preserve uh, something like uh, an inertia to, to make sure that even if I get slow at the end, like now, uh, on the climbs, that I still have enough time to try and get a car while there's still light. Now it's half past 7 p.m. and the sun sets in something like an hour and the, at 9 p.m. there is no light anymore, nothing usable. So I think this is the perfect time to get up this uh, this big hill so let's try and do that and see what we get up there now I'm monitoring my heart rate in order to keep a certain minimum speed it helps me not let go now these I really hate they build the, the whole road going up with either wooden or stone things like that and it's really hard to run on it Now Montmaison is right there and everything is under a thin white kind of cloud. It's really eerie. I do think I'm all alone. I'm not. I think it's unlikely I will meet someone up there. It's a bit too late for that.
and it's too cold. exhausted now I can feel it and I can see it because I can't push anymore while climbing up oh man I really wished I really wanted to be to have a view but it seems like the clouds are covering everything right at right now and it wasn't the case half an hour ago Still climb up but I hope it opens up now remember I'm carrying something like 13 14 kilos right now and I've been carrying it for two days you can clearly see that we are in the clouds Second time it happens to me this summer. but it was really 
Now it's too wet, I, I keep my iPhone closed in order not to get water inside. I would get condensation. Oh man, you can see a little bit through the cloud. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But it's really beautiful and what's even weirder is the sun it's clear that the sun is falling on there and that's why it's so bright through, through the white thick cloud I think it's something I've never seen that way Let's try it took and take a panorama. Oh yes, you can see a little bit. This is something I really love doing. I've always loved panoramas and now there are real tools available, easy tools. So it's, it might not be the best quality, but it's easy. And when you run, that's what matters most actually. stop and take a panorama it's so easy it takes 10 seconds is the other side of the mountain this one looked east that one looked south and west oh there's a small weather station I think you can see it there this is protection up here
great landscape today, so it's okay. I don't regret anything. Let's go down. Thanks for being here. Look at that. You can see the valley. Again, there's this feeling that it's kind of unreal. So my hope is these are my last kilometers, but I'm not sure. I don't know if I will find a car here and maybe I'll have to run much longer. We'll see. Right now I have to get to the road. So that's it, we're back to the same point where we started and I hope you liked it, I'm going down, oh, I'm really tired, oh, I need some rest, I think I deserved it and I wish you a good morning, day and evening. <laughs>